Well, hi, good morning, and thank you for joining me in my shop. Today is May 18th. It's a fantastic day outside, so I don't want to be in here. Uh, so I'm just going to do something pretty simple this morning, and that's verify or check the alignment and just do a rough job just to see if the alignment on this radio is way out. It still has some old capacitors in it that need to be replaced, but I'd like to see what it can do uh, right now. And It's a little weak. Um, Actually, its behavior is a little weird, but let's just see what happens here. And if I'm lucky, I'll be able to uh, peek it up. So, did you see that light go in the background? This light? Um, that was a little odd how it kind of went way up and down pretty quick. So, it's come up now because the tubes are conducting. Should hear it. There we are. Okay, the weirdness is that radio seems to want to work sometimes and not others. Now I have this on the signal generator, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to assume the radio is operating but just doesn't have an antenna on it. We're running at a, at 100 volts right now. I'm going to set my uh, signal generator here. Um, the IF, which is probably 455. There, you heard it go by. Wow, it's way off. It's all over the map. Excellent. That's just what I was hoping for. Okay, we're going to fix it. Put this here. We're just going to do this by sound, just volume. But we're uh, going to do this by ear. That's what I really want to say. So let's get it uh, coming in. Now, first, that's definitely not tuning in. Definitely not tuning in. Okay. 422. Let's go in the direction we want to go. 430. Give it some more power. A little further. Okay, peak that up. So, in case you don't know what I'm doing, I'm adjusting the capacitors in these coils here. Whoops, down here, down here. These four adjustments here. Wow. This is stuck. Got a bigger screwdriver. There we go. Well, they haven't been adjusted for a long time, that's for sure. Okay, so the frequency we're at, we're still way off. We're at 437, so I'm going to go up to... Uh-oh. same way. I'm reducing the capacitance. Okay, tune up. This time 455. Can you hear it? I can still hear it. be perfect but it's got to be way better than it was 
Now we have two adjustments here on the uh, tuning capacitor. One is for the local oscillator, I'm going to move the pointer around a bit. And the other one's for the antenna. Well, I've got the signal generator connected to it right now, so we'll leave that as it is. Let's just see what happened here. Um, I'm going to switch this off. The signal generator and put it on an antenna but I don't think the antenna is switched on, so I'm going to stop for a moment and go switch on the antenna. The antenna switch is in another room on the other, other end of my house, and when I flipped the switch, I could hear this radio <laughs> through my house because I left the volume up a bit, and this is what I heard, just a lot of that. See, we can get some stations through here. Not, not, well, the noise is making it difficult to judge the radio. So, volume wise, lots of volume. Hey, let's try this. Let's put another ground on it. Nope. Take the ground off over here. Eastbound on the 401. The Not a lot of difference. Darn interference. here so okay that's about it that's it for today so uh, what I found was uh, a bulk of the weakness in the reception of this radio is due to bad alignment of the IF I don't think there's any doubt of that uh, not only was that off on the wrong frequency but I think the individual coils were tuned to different frequencies so now at least they're all on something very close to 455 um, the uh, the boost in the signal strength didn't seem to clear up the reception much um, could be just the conditions, could be, you know, we're hearing exactly what's on my antenna lead and the noise itself could be so strong that it's cutting, it's, it's generating an AVC voltage in the radio and quieting it down. So I don't know, I don't know if that's the truth. So next step with this radio is to start changing out the remaining few uh, wax capacitors and maybe then we'll see an improvement in uh, performance. I wanted to do this alignment thing before doing the capacitors so I'd have a better impression of the level of success with changing the, the few capacitors that remain in there. So thank you very much for watching this quick video and I'm off to uh, do all kinds of outdoor stuff today and develop a sore back. I'm sure of that. See ya!